In today's video, we're going to take a closer look at minor performance as it relates to Radian, answering the question, is there a minor that stands out from the rest? I chose this topic because I noticed during the run-up to Ironfish's launch to its main net that G minor added support for Radian and was curious to its performance. My evaluation will be done with a single 8-card rig that hosts RTX 2060, 2060 Supers, 3060 Ti, and a few 3070s. I will share my overclock settings and will keep those settings the same for each minor. Speaking of which, we'll be looking at current versions of G minor, BZ minor, and SRB minor. I'm just going to go in alphabetical order. So we'll first get started with BZ minor version 14.3.1. Let's note the overclocks being used, and keep in mind that your results will vary. You may have different settings, and that is fine. Each of us has our own strategy. After a few minutes, we see BZ Miner is delivering 4.59 gigahashes for the entire rig. In software, the power draw that is reported is 521 watts, but at the outlet, a more accurate number is 600 watts. This is a difference of 79 watts, or 16%. Let's also speak to efficiency. For today's purpose, we will speak to the rig's efficiency, not the individual cards. While it's good to know how efficient any one card is, I think it's equally, if not more important, to know what your rig's efficiency is. This allows you to take into consideration the PSU, motherboard, and such, including any additional fans that are spinning. Up next is G minor version 3.37. Again, we're using the same overclocks, with one exception, and that is how power limit is determined. G minor uses a percentage versus a whole number. This is fine. But know that if you set a number that is higher than 100, the software may in fact set the power limit to the highest allowed percentage. For example, 110%. Similar to what we see in Afterburner. Once established, G minor across all eight cards is producing 4.85 gigahash. This is a higher number but at the cost of some additional power. Here we can see the rig is pulling 625 watts, creating an efficiency of 7.76. Let's move on to SRB Miner 2.2.5. A big hand to SRB Miner for supporting the Intel cards. Hopefully in due process we'll see more development from everyone. So after a bit, SRB Miner is producing 4.75 gigahash at 645 watts. This gives the rig an efficiency of 7.36. So in the review, we see that G Miner is providing the most hash power while using a little bit more energy. However, it still provides the best efficiency or does it? Sometimes we take it for granted that the newest version of something is the best version. While all three of these miners, with their most recent releases, are close in performance, I remember coming across a comment on Discord about version 12.2.0 of BZ Miner, where it was said it was better than the current versions when specifically speaking to Radiant. Is that still the case? Let's find out. BZ Miner 12.2.0 on the 8 card rig produces 4.77 gigahash at 600 watts with an efficiency of 7.95. Version 12.2.0 is the better option 
not only over BZ minor's most current version, but also over G minor and SRB minor. The differences are not much, and each of the developers deserve our appreciation for their contribution. Are you mining Radiant? If so, comment below, sharing what software you're using and why. I know the minor comparison videos are not so exciting, but if you found this to be of help, a hit on the like button is appreciated. The channel has gotten some traction as of lately, so new subscribers are always welcome. As always, be mindful of your uptime, and thanks for watching.